of the collection. What's, yeah. what's your top five favorite songs? Gospel. To get wrecked? Oh, gospel songs. All right, okay. All right. Don't, don't, don't go into DMX or your 50 Cent on me. Don't, don't go into No, it. man. I mean, I, I got a couple of them that I like. I ain't yeah. going to tell you no story, but yes, uh, let's see. Um, what's that song, Zacardi? Let Your Power Fall by yeah, Zacardi. I, I got to have that song, yeah. man. Um, be Grateful. Um, you better say something with Yolanda. Uh, all, well, you know what? All of Yolanda songs... Okay. But and that's everybody samples her voice. I sometimes I'll text her, hear a song, and I'm like, "Did you make this song?" And I'm like, "That person sounds just like you." So, yeah. you know, everything Yolanda does. Um, you know, these days, if you tell somebody you like the artist, then they come at you because they're mad at the artist. So I'm just gonna stop right there because yeah, you know, right. just some, some songs. Yeah. Um, I love love this Maverick City. Um, this uh, uh, elevation worship yeah. collab, like that stuff, Gyra, uh, the blessing, mm -hmm. Graves in the Garden, Rattle, those songs are legit, man. I'm proud of Maverick City too, man. Yeah, man, Chandler's killing culture. it. Yeah, they're killing it, right? You gotta give it to them. Speaking of, man, a couple of years ago, I look up, people started asking because they see, you know, I post a picture that you and I had from years ago when I first came. I think y'all were doing an Easter egg cut. Yeah. Me, you, and Brian. So I post that picture quite often uh, when I'm referencing or talking about you. Somebody, Asked me, say, hey man, I hear in the wind, Pastor Keon and Shawnee are dating. <laughs> and I said, well, I seen him out at a couple of things. And I say, you know, when the water stirred up, something's going on. Man, how did that happen? And man, when can I get hooked up? The angel like troubled that? the water, man. Yeah. This is the craziest thing. Uh, James Fortune. Big James Fortune. I text him a picture of a book that I was releasing uh, back in 2020. Mm -hmm. And I was like asking all my friends, can you post this? Can you post this? And he responded, like, you know, uh, bro, you was with me in hard times right. and I'll do anything for you and da, 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 da. And he said, by the way, I got a friend who is single and asked me if you were single. I said, who? He said, you want to date again? I was like, no, nah, man, I've been there, done that. I ain't dating nobody. Look, I'm tell he'll tell you. I'm like, I don't want to know who it is. Don't even tell me. Who is it, man? Yeah, you say, Let me he know. said, he said, it's Shawnee O'Neal. I said, first reaction. Give him my number right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, release it in the name of Jesus. Give him my number. So he he gives her the number. He starts a group with me and her. And I text in the group. James says, y'all can release me from this group now. I'm no yeah, longer necessary. Yeah, yeah. So I text her on the side and be like, you know, I'm getting ready to call you. Do you know what this woman told me? This that? woman told me, she says, no, nah, I don't want to talk to you on the phone. I'm better experienced in person. Ooh. So we text for months. Yeah. She lived in L.A. I lived here. We text for months. Yeah. And so uh, I was going to preach in San Bernardino, California. Okay. Uh, and you got to land in L.A. Mm -hmm. and drive up there. So I landed in L.A., told her when I was landing, uh, told her where to meet me. Yeah. We sat down in the lobby of the Marriott at the uh, LAX for six hours. I'm proud of you, man. And just talked. I'm proud of you. Because that's how you got to do it. You got to do it yeah. like that, so, man. So... <clears throat> I mean, when you meet somebody like her, bro, were you like really nervous the first initial meeting? Because I mean, you know, let's think about it. she's Shawnee yeah. O'Neal. We're like, okay, she's married to Shaq. Yeah, so you know what, man? Like it's a I, I didn't. Of, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I never had that feeling. Um, my uh, trepidation was, um, you know, I'm a pastor mm -hmm. and recently divorced, and we're we're not allowed to have human experiences. So my my initial reaction was, what are these people gonna say? Okay. It wasn't my fear wasn't related to her. It was the outside. Okay, but Pastor Keon Henderson is my special guest. All right, so then social media blows up. They see yeah. you guys together, pastor and reality star. They don't see her as you know. Right. Down. They see her as a reality star with all of the shows. Of course, did you feel the pressure of that when you started to see it in the tabloids and everybody yeah. speaking? And then how do you ignore that chatter as well? Yeah. So I felt the pressure. Um, but here's the great thing about courtship. Once you get to know the person mm -hmm. that everybody else thinks they know, then you become more comfortable with your decision because you have the intel. They have the opinion. Yeah. So once I got to know who she was, I realized she was a reality star who was heading uh, to a different level of she. She's not on the show. She owns the show. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a, that's the difference. She's not talent. She's the producer. She's right. the executive producer. And uh, uh, and and now because of that, uh, we did our wedding. It's now a special. It's mm -hmm. coming out in the next couple months. And now I'm a producer because we yeah. produced the show together. Yeah. So now I'm a producer with uh, Viacom. So 
you know, it was symbiotic. I had aspirations. She had aspirations. Yeah. Uh, we, we had same values. And it was a lot of things. Her parents, her father just passed away. God bless him. But her parents had been married 52 years. So then there's that longevity I'm seeking, that you've got that example. Um, you know, she was the secretary for her pastor in the church. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know that. Her mother uh, was the minister of music at the church. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, you don't see that on the radio. You don't see that on there. So yeah. once I met the person, mm -hmm. uh, I was able to uh, digest the opinions because I know the person. And now, you know, as time goes on, everybody else will see what I saw. You can't tell it all. Pastor Keon is my special <laughs> guest. I got to see if she got some friends. Like right. Television ones. Here's Praise 92.1. Not the ones